Welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a foundation review and wear test on this foundation here, the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I have the shade five. It took a while for this foundation to get to me. That's why this review is coming up a little bit late. I think I ordered this on the 23rd. I ordered it whatever day it launched and it just got to me today, which is August fifth. So it took a little bit of time. It's okay. Things happen, but I wanted to review this anyways. I was really excited for this foundation and we're just going to be testing it out. So in a minute here, you're going to see me applying this foundation to my skin, kind of just get my first impressions. We'll be doing a four hour check-in and then I'll be inserting in some swatches of just other foundations that I have compared to the shade five. And then afterwards, we'll be diving into my final thoughts at the eight hour check-in mark. So if you like foundation reviews, give this video a thumbs up. I love doing them. They're one of my favorite videos to do, even though they take me all day because I have to do a four hour check-in and eight hour check-in. That's all right. They're still my favorite. Please subscribe to my channel. Stick around. I do upload videos on Sundays and Thursdays twice a week. And with all that, let's jump over to the footage of me applying this foundation to my face. All right, we're zoomed in a little. I have all my skincare on and I do have uh, the Becca under eye concealer because I've been putting that on before my foundation because I tend to forget it if I do it before concealer. So that's kind of been my routine for now. I don't have any primer on because I don't want to mess with this foundation, but let's open it up and give it a shot. I haven't even taken it out yet. So I have the shade five and here's what the bottle looks like. I'm gonna pump this on the back of my hand here. It looks like, I think it's gonna be okay. This is just one pump. And it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty creamy. It doesn't run down the back of my hand or anything like that. It's a little bit tough for me to know my shade because they're going by numbers now, not by name. So in the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, I wear the shade Linen and here it was just a number. So I chose the shade five and I've kind of just been putting this on my face and blending it out with a brush and then tapping it out with a sponge. I don't know why I've switched it up recently. That's kind of been my method. I'm gonna use this Artiste brush. Kind of just felt like bringing it back out. What can I say? So let's get to blending this. So this is supposed to give a natural finish with medium coverage. That is my favorite type of finish. It does come in a standard one fluid ounce and it has 32 shades. So I do see some improvement from Hourglass with their shade range. I can't really speak on how the darker shades would match others, but I mean, I'd like to think they're trying and they don't just not care, but I don't work there. So I have no idea what goes on over at headquarters. So this is one full pump blended out with the brush. And now I'm just gonna go in with my sponge here and tap it out. And then other things to just note about this is that it was clearly inspired by the ambient lighting collection, which I think was very smart of Hourglass to do. It's supposed to be infused with blurring spheres that mask imperfections. We're gonna see about that. And then it does claim to be transfer proof, sweat proof, and humidity proof. We'll be testing all those out. It is pretty humid outside. It's supposed to rain, but it's deciding if it wants to rain. So there's a little bit of humidity. And then I should be going to the gym today. I should be, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. So I will be sweating. So far, this is looking pretty nice. I wouldn't say it's a true medium coverage. I would call this a light to medium. However, I did only use one pump. It's possible if I build it up that it would be more of a true medium, but I'm gonna leave it like this because this is more of the coverage that I tend to prefer. So here it is on my skin. You can still see a little bit of imperfections. I think I have decent skin. It's not like I have too many imperfections, but I still have a little bit. 
of redness and just like clogged pores here. And I think it looks natural and not too cakey. I'm liking how this looks so far. I'm now going to just finish up my makeup off of camera and then I will be back to kind of just talk about first impressions, how it wore underneath powder, bronzer, blush, all that good stuff. And I will be right back. All right, the rest of my makeup is on. Everything that I'm wearing is always listed in the description box below. But as far as this foundation goes, I have to say I am thoroughly impressed right now. I am really liking how this is looking. I do feel like my imperfections are a little bit blurred, my pores here, my forehead specifically just really looks smooth. I, I like this a lot. I mean, we're gonna see how it wears and see if it's just an all day foundation, test the 16 hour claim. But so far, this is just looking really nice. It plays really well with all the powder products that I used with the loose setting powder. Just everything about this, like, I really, really like. I never got to try the Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation. I do have the Vanish Stick Foundation, which I like a lot. However, the Vanish Foundation, it didn't really look like something that I was really gonna like. I didn't like how everyone was showing it and you had to use like a quarter of a pump. It just seemed way too full coverage for me. So I never gave that one a shot. However, this one, I think they really turned it around and I'm, I'm very curious to see how this is gonna wear. I like this a lot. It definitely built up to medium coverage as I put on powder and all my complexion products. I wouldn't say it's bordering light to medium anymore, but it looks really, really nice. Like I just even feel like my cheek looks nice. Like all the products just really glided on very smoothly. So that's where we're at right now. I'm very optimistic. It is 11.53, so almost noon. I'm going to wear this around for about four hours. We'll do a four hour check-in and I'll see you all then. All right, everyone, here we are for the four hour check-in. Here's kind of what my skin looks like. It's kind of just faded around my nose, my chin. Definitely like where my glasses are. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. I've definitely tested this foundation. I took a nap, I went to the gym, I went to the grocery store. That's a big day for me. I normally don't do all those things. I would say that it's sweat resistant. It is hot outside and it still looks fairly decent. It's been pretty humid. It rained for a little while, but now it's nice and sunny. So yeah, I mean, I got nothing really more to say. Interested to see what happens in the next four hours or so, but this is just what we're looking like. I mean, you can definitely see some of my imperfections, but I do think that it's wearing away nicely. I don't think that this is one where it kind of is just separating on the skin. It's giving like a very nice natural wear down. Let's just see where the next four hours takes us. So I will be inserting in some swatches right about now, and then I will see you all in my final thoughts. Here we are, it's the end of the night. We have way past the eight hour mark. We're going up on 10 hours now. So this is what foundation's kind of looking like. I'm still in my gym clothes. I was not about to change, but here it is. I'm pretty shiny just on my forehead, on my chin here. I have not touched up at all. So we're just gonna kind of just blot and see what that does. That seems to have helped take down the shine quite a bit. The thing I'm most impressed about is just how naturally this has worn down. 
it doesn't look all splotchy or anything like that. If anything, my eye makeup looks the most just like busted right under here, but the foundation still looks really good. You can't even see really like the bronzer anymore. That's completely all faded. And around my nose, the foundation's mostly worn off, especially like where my glasses rest. But the rest of it, like you wouldn't even be able to tell that the foundation's been wearing this long. As long as you're touching it up, I think that it wears really well. I do think that the long wear claims are true. I don't really know if I fall for like the fact that it claims it has blurring spheres in it. I would agree that it's pretty transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. It was very humid today. Like I said, I went to the gym, so I was sweating a lot today. There's no air conditioning in France, so you sweat a lot when it's very hot outside. And this held up really well against that. My face doesn't feel sticky at all. And I really don't use a lot of powder. So I'm pretty impressed with that and just how it's held up. I mean, I do, you can still see like some blemishes, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. I always just like to compare this to having to work a job and if I would wear this to a job. And I think that I would, I think I could get away with wearing this and not just feel self-conscious that I would need to look in the mirror all the time to make sure it wasn't breaking apart. This is something I could wear, be inside, and just know it's gonna work great for me. So I'm pretty impressed with this, especially just with their last foundation not going over so well. This is definitely in the step in the right direction. And I'm excited to see more Hourglass products like this. It really took them a little bit of time to capitalize on their ambient line. I'm surprised that it's taken them so long to come out with an ambient foundation, but I'm happy with it. I'm glad that I was able to try this and I'm gonna test out some more. I always do a ranking video after I've tried about 10 or 15 new products to just rank them all up against each other where they aren't really first impression videos. I've had a chance to try them out more just settle on my thoughts. And so look out for that video in the upcoming weeks here where you'll see this in there, but I'm happy with this. That is where I'm going to leave you all. I hope you enjoy this video. Again, if you just like foundation videos, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.